Okay, and we are at the record show, and this is our first time ever being at a record show. So we're kind of excited, and it's huge. You can pan the room here, really. Yeah, let me pan the room. This is big. Yeah. And it's reminiscent of a comic show because they just got bins and you just flip you just through the bin through and, and you find like what you want. a lot of short uh, comic short boxes and the records are in there sideways. Yeah. It's interesting. Yeah. So we're going to film, um, just to give you an idea, again, this is our first time ever coming to a record show. Um, I am actually looking for one record. That's all I want is one record. You know, and if I can find that one record, we're going to be on the ball. But um, the way it looks, every record on earth is here. So, we'll see how it goes, guys. Yeah, maybe you can come up with it since you're got it in your hand. It's a Mark's nutty man. He's a toy collector. They were out in the what? Late 60s. Late 60s or? Okay, that's why. They were a set of them, wasn't they? Yeah, they got a bunch of them. And then they did Disney ones also. So David comes all the way to a record show and finds a toy. Yeah. Isn't that how Are it you goes? watching, Martin? I know he collects these. Okay. Magazines, yeah. Rolling Stone and Circus, and you know, a bunch of other ma uh, music magazines. Those are all Rolling Stone. Yeah, of a course. Of, yeah. A lot of cassette tapes. And you don't hardly see this anymore. Mm -mm. But REM. Yeah, ton of Rolling Stone magazines. <laughs> Seventies rock. Hey. Cigar aficionado with Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> I 
Did you want to see look, yes, for, look for the Crosby? I'm gonna come back. Okay. I'm gonna film and no then problem. come back. I'll be here all day. <laughs> all right. That's the Jackson Brothers. Oh yeah. <laughs> They had that look in the second row. Yeah. I'm on my way to Oh, look. It's his fault. Yeah, five dollar box. You can see what's on this wall right here. <laughs> Your wall records. So I some of the records you can like do like what I do with I've got boxes of like old stuff like old garage and the fifties and sixties stuff. Yeah, but that I I have to go to the night and I don't know what I'm doing. So you have to go to the one you find when you're like, oh my god. Okay. Nah, the key with those is just look for Oh, this is that real old school rap. Yeah. Key that beat Mr. DJ. <laughs> for real. DJ. The name is Blame D. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, like, the place that I'm from. This is yeah. the stuff no, we like, grew up on. Yeah. Damn right. Yeah. Okay. This is probably like one. Public oh, Enemies. Oh, oh that's the single. Yeah. 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 Yep. You know, you gotta look. Yeah. LSD. I don't know. LSD. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> Get funky crew. Murder was the case. I know that song. Oh. Who sang that? Cold Chilling. Murder was the case? Yeah, I remember that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because when he was up yeah. for murder. Yep. That's right. Murder was the case that they gave Unknown me. DJ, and he is. <laughs> <laughs> He's the X-Men. Oh, no. Who is that? Play that funk. B-Mo-C. That's Adam Sandler, isn't it? That's not Adam. That's <laughs> Widow. <laughs> God. <laughs> Luke Records. Oh, this one's signed. Oh, yeah, one more right Street Beats. Yeah, this is the stuff you don't find. Oh, Slick Rick. Rick. Munich, Munich Machine. <laughs> oh, yeah. Black Stalin. Terminator X. X. That's probably getting Yes. Oh, this one's signed by the, oh, whole, by the whole crew. Except for that guy. He ain't want to sugar the old game. Rapids delight. And they ain't suits. Hot summer day, love in you. Uh, Apache. That's not bad, actually. Yeah. I have to remember this one. Because I would get that. 15 bucks. Tiffany. Yeah. I don't know if that counts for rap. Sexy fiends. Oh my god. Man bingo. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> Oh, now we're doing something else here. The other one's actually very cool. Do you do a That's a whole uh, narr narration. Yeah. Well. Okay, let's continue on our journey. It's not my favorite record, but, it, but the biggest is good. Yeah. Once it's killed the poor. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's got a dump truck like on uh, Soil and Green. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this, I'm not sure I'd like to try to sell it. The Ramones. Because I think they did a good job. Um, you know Funko Pops had to make a, an appearance. Huh? Oh, yeah. We have, we that, have that already. Okay. Yeah, we in the way. We we almost done. Just break some trains or something to make it easier. Yeah. Yeah. It's like this is 
like some stuff you don't see very often. Right there. Yeah, the jazz and the blues. Okay. Uh, okay. We'll do this and then we'll be done. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Love gun. Game on the lines. It's like a whole ton of kids. ZZ Top. Okay, so we are back from the Atlanta Record and CD show, convention, whatever you want to call show, it. Show, I guess. Show. And larger than we expected. It was um, yeah. it was very interesting. Like we said before, this is our first time ever going to a record slash CD show. Yeah, specific. Um, yeah. yeah. So I did do some filming, not a lot, because um, I don't know. It... Because, okay, like, when you go to a toy and comic book, mm -hmm. everything is kind of out. And even if you can't get to the boxes, you can still pan what's on the walls yes. or at a toy show. You can see what's on the tables. Everything was basically in the bins. Yeah, they I had mean, a few pl people that had, like, a, a display up with some more v expensive or yeah. valuable and records. I, but I got some of that. Mm -hmm. Um and, you know, stuff that I could get, we did flip, as you can see, we flipped through some of the bins. Um, but it was a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, I went in there <laughs> with some expectations way up here. And and it was my fault. The only negatives I have <laughs> about the show was 100% on me. Okay. Because I went there to buy one record. That's it. And it was in my head, I am here for this one record. Mm. If I find this record, I'll get something else. So I spent the majority of the day going through bin after bin after bin looking for this one record. And she and found the band several times, yeah. but not the right one. Yeah. Not the right one. It's like between all of the vendors, they had every last one of this band's records except one I wanted. So, but after that, you know, I was like, okay. You know, after it, because it reminded me of going to a comic convention where you got bin after bin after bin, yeah, and, and you gotta... just sit there and you flip through it, and I don't know what I expected. <laughs> 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 I honestly don't. But once I got in there, I'm like, oh, it's like a comic book show. Basically, you're gonna stand yeah. there and flip through these bins, and then I don't know why that didn't come to mind. Because even when you go to like Target mm -hmm. and and Walmart and you look through the records, you stand there and you flip, flip through, through the records. Um. So you know, but I had a good time. It was great. Other than that, and, and like I said, any negative that I had is mm -hmm. one hundred percent on me because I went there. I don't know, with something else totally in mind, and it just derailed me. But I got myself back on track. And, and the only negative I had was the same complaint I would have with, like, a comic vendor who has stuff just completely willy-nilly organ disorganized. Most of them were really well organized. Yeah. More so than you would see at a comic convention, you know, uh, b uh, by genre and alphabetical. Yeah. And then there's a few people, they just had records. <laughs> And it was all over the place, and you just, you know, everything you pull up is from a different genre, a different year, whatever. Yeah. It's like, holy crap, you, I'll be in here all day. But those people <laughs> probably had the record on <laughs> but be. But they are, they're the ones that had the most. Mm. It's like this one guy, and, and we saw him going out because he came in late, and he was in the hallway. He had, like, four tables. And it was full of boxes, plus underneath, just full of boxes. And you're like, oh, my God, you know, where do you even begin? Yeah. You know, where do you begin? but it, it was a great show. We thoroughly enjoyed ourselves. Sure. Um, we'll go back to others. Um, I looked it up, and it seems like the record show comes to Pretty the common. Atlanta. Yeah, like every other month. So we had a good time. So let's see what we got. What did we get? Yeah, what do you got? I love that the price tag's on that from Turtles. Yeah. <laughs> Bruce Springsteen, um, born in the USA, which yeah. is actually one. Okay, I got like two favorite Bruce Springsteen songs. Uh -huh. Born in the USA is one. And um, the other one is on here is I'm on Fire. Uh -huh. I love I'm on Fire. Um, so I got that. 
And then I got The Who, Tommy. Yeah. I mean, which is a cool album. That's classic. Yeah, it's 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 a um. They made it into a movie like Sgt. Pepper. Yes. In the wall. It's a musical. That's right. Mm -hmm. Tina Turner was in it. The uh what? The Who. Oh, the Who. Oh, okay. Tommy. She okay. Was, I, I never Turner seen it. it. This is the Spinners, and this one has ah, Rubber Band Man. Rubber Band Man. Yeah, Rubber Band Man <laughs> is a good song. <laughs> and then, this is a single. World class wrecking crew, and they only ever had one song. Turn off the lights. I don't think they made. I mean, they probably had a full album, but anybody only know that one song. That's it. Outside of that, nobody knows what they sing. Yeah, and and this is uh like first time Dr. Dre too. I think I think that's the I, significance of the album. No, he's on here, isn't he? Yeah, he's on here, but this came out after N.W.A. Oh, did it? Yeah. All right. Well, he on there. Yeah, he on there, and Michelle Lee, she uh -huh. was the um, female singer on there. She sang the chorus part, and I don't know who the and other I guys are. I love the are. special thanks section on the back there. You see that? And it's like everybody's. It's all nicknames. It's all nicknames. There's no real name on that list anywhere. I, I just wanted to point that out. <laughs> <laughs> you see that? You see what I mean? Yeah. It's like, uh, um, oh, Erica Pops, the crew at East, Jeffries, uh, Tony Master Blaster, New School, Fat, JD at uh, C, Mr. Fat Fat, uh, <laughs> City Fresh. <laughs> Hey, that's what you know him as. That's what you know him as. Now this is a this is a leave it to me to find this. Are you watching Martin? I said that during the thing. I actually found a, a Mark's Nutty Mad at this show. <laughs> the got, only toy there. Well they had pops. Somebody they did had have pops. pops. They had a couple of tables that had pops. It's in good shape too. But the pops they had but, uh, was music related. Yes. We'll, we'll give them that much. But yeah, this is a, a an original Marks Nutty Mad, and the price on it was insane. And I mean, like, it didn't make sense how cheap it was. And I'm like, I picked it up, and I'm like, there's no way this is right. And he was like, hey, you can have it for that price if you can tell me what it is, because mm -hmm. he didn't know. Yeah. And I was like, hey, sure. Yeah, I'm all about that Nutty Mad. And uh, I picked up some uh, some vintage vinyl. I had a little fun with this. It was one I was looking for. It was uh, De La Soul, Three Feet in High and Rise, and couldn't find it. Yeah. There was De La Soul. It was all singles. There was no uh, no definitive album. And when I was looking for it, people were like, you mean there isn't a copy of that here? You're kidding. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Sugar Hill Gang, Eighth Wonder, and of course, this is uh, the people who did Rapper's Delight, which really is the definitive rap song. And... Oh, real sad story about these guys, man. They had no rights to anything, no money, nothing. They didn't even have the rights to their name. Yeah. It's insane. They 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 got totally screwed. But, you know, another story. This has everything but Rapper's Delight on it. So, what do you do? You go out and pick up one of the singles of Rapper's Delight so that you can put it all together. <laughs> yeah, now you got one full album. <laughs> yeah, now you got one full album. This is like every version of Rapper's Delight on this, on this single. But, um, hey... That, I love that. I love that. Now this one is uh, absolutely classic. You gotta get the Fat Boys, which was also the only one I found. Because I, I looked through all of the classic uh, hip hop or uh, hip hop and um, rap. rap stuff. This is the only Fat Boys album there. Period that I could find, anyways. And th I mean that's the original Fat Boys album. It, you know, grew up on this stuff. This one I couldn't pass up either. It's breaking soundtrack. <laughs> There's no stopping us. Oh, no man. stopping. <laughs> Isn't it weird David got all the rap albums? Yeah, but I mean, th that this is the era where rap came up, when I grew up. Yeah. This is when this was starting, when it was still good, and it wasn't all like mumble and auto-tune, and you don't know what oh, the hell God, they're doing, yeah. and talking about like really obscene sex. Mm -hmm. It was just fun. This is fun. It's just fun. Yeah. You know, it's it just having a good time. And that's lost. And then finally, <laughs> she looking at me. I can't believe you bought this. It's Mr. T's rap album. It's Mr. T's freaking rap album. Mr. T, be somebody, for God's sake, with uh, 
Be somebody, treat your mother right, styling, love each other. I am somebody. Peer pressure, which is actually uh, a new edition song. It's new edition, peer pressure. Mm -hmm. And this is the only way you can get that song. It was never reproduced as far as I know. Oh, okay. Uh, Poppin' and Breakin' and Try. And I, I've, I know there was a couple of music videos that he did. And he's a terrible rapper. But <laughs> he's this is iconic of the 80s. Is certain people that when you hear their name or you see them, it brings you right back to the 80s. Mr. T's one of them. You know, like Hulk Hogan, Michael Jackson, uh, Don Johnson. There are certain people you see them and you're like, boom, 80s. This is this is about as 80s as you get right here. I couldn't resist. Yeah, and I was surprised with the prices. The prices were. And actually... this wasn't the price either. I mean, this the, the this one still had a tag on it, but he um, he let me have it for less than that because I was so enthusiastic about the album. He was like, "Oh, uh, you've got to walk away with that. How about this?" Um, the prices were actually cheap. I yeah, thought, they were bad. I thought they were less going than eBay. to be. Um, way higher much higher i didn't expect to come out with anything well except for the record i was i was um looking for because i was like i am buying this record today yeah. and um <laughs> but when that's you how got i felt there, about the day lost soul and it wasn't there but i mean yeah yeah but once i looked at the price i was like wow okay these are some actually decent prices yeah. they're actually pretty cheap uh, of course you had some you know, people wanted three hundred dollars for this. Because I'm sure there's some rare like, pressings of certain things. Whatever, that are be not up that, there. not that I'm um, bad by Michael Jackson album that somebody wanted two fifty for. Was it sealed? No. Oh, it was well, used. Okay. But anyway, I don't know what to tell you. Um, no, but it was actually a really good show. I can't wait to go to the next one. The next time, I'm going in there with the mindset mm -hmm. of I'm going to a comic book show. Because it's the same thing, except for you're not looking for comics, you're looking for records. But I'm going to treat it that way. And then, you know, you just look through the bins, you see something you want to pick it out. Yeah. And and make a deal, because they will make deals with you. Yeah. So, but yeah, we had a great time. Um, so. So, yeah. I, I, who, who out there um, goes to shows like this, if you have it? Might be worth taking a look. Yeah, just check Might it out at least one out. time. Yeah. If you don't like it, then you know, make a note and don't go back no more. Sure. Yeah. So, thoughts? What are your thoughts about that? Hey, vinyl lovers, let us know what your thoughts are down uh, down below. What was the best pick of the pile? Yeah. Who had the best pick? Let Me us know. With that. Um, Which one? Right there. Oh yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> no. That is a good one, but. <laughs> But this, this right here, yeah, that or is the too. Fat Boys, the Fat Boys. Yeah. I, I had that on cassette tape though when I was a kid. Oh really? Yeah, I had it on the reel to reel little cassette tape. Oh, okay. But anyway. Um, yeah. And please and, do give the video a thumbs up. Mm -hmm. We hope you enjoyed that. And if that's it, then what could, what more can we say? But thanks for watching, and we will see you again soon.